because I'm delighted to say Helen Davis is here. Uh, mm -hmm. You're the editorial projects director at the Sunday Times. I mean, it's an institution, isn't it? This. An absolute and um, nobody's suggesting, of course, that you've been doing it. I was about to say, thank you. So I haven't been doing it. Before anybody jumps to the wrong conclusion, that's not what I was saying. Um, but the Sunday Times Rich List out this weekend, 2024. Yep. Um, a thing of great beauty. It must be very tough to put together this stuff. It's a really, really big project. Yeah. Um, so we. You know, I do it with my colleague Robert Watts. Yes. Um, he's the one that really delves into the paperwork, the public accounts. Yes. Um, and quite often we do talk to rich listers. They do share quite a lot with us. Because a lot of them don't like to, to be sort of exposed, if you like, do they? So no, as to they how much they've really got. They don't. It's a bit 50 50. So some right. desperate to be in it, desperate to be higher right. than, than we might put them at. Yes. Um, and then an equal number that don't want to be in it at all. Mm. And I think the point of it is just to show where the money is in Britain, right. where it comes from, who it's in the hands of. And right. it's just fascinating portraits. Yes. Every year. And is that changing this year from anything that it was around, you know, where was the money last year, where is it this year? Yeah, so uh, historically, obviously a lot in sort of aristocracy, mm. that's shifted quite a lot. You know, the king is now, you know, after 250. Right. We've got the global super rich kind of rising. They've risen through the ranks in the sort of past decade, mm. but this is the first year we've really seen a, a, a significant fall in the number of billionaires in right. the list. Okay. So it's the you know, it's the record fall since we launched, as you said, 36 years yes. ago. And are they losing money for a particular reason? Are they falling out of, of, no, of the, of the list? No, not necessarily. They're falling out of our list because they're moving away. Right. Um, so they, many of them sort of fed up with London a bit. Yes. Um, even they complain about the high house prices. Right. Um, issues of kind of safety. I think the economic and political sort of uncertainty that we've lived with, a sort of yes. sense of chaos hasn't mm. helped and, a, and regarding and perhaps business. perhaps a, a Labour government coming in as well might not, might not be it's growing. Not We've just been talking about uh, tax with Peter Carl, Labour MP, um, and he was very, very sort of uh, non-committal, shall we say, on whether they might put taxes I'm, up. I'm sure they are. I mean, they're not as scared as they were when the, at the prospect um, when we had Jeremy Corbyn. It was right. sort of called Cormageddon, and right. you know, th <laughs> they were very much booked on flights. Yes, um, it's not yet quite like that. Mm. But um, I think uncertainty never does well, um, yeah. um, kind of for business. But regarding a sort of potential wealth tax, yes. um, every time we ask the readers, we, we've got an online poll. Mm. It's exactly like Brexit. Fifty-two yeah. percent say yes, forty-eight percent right. say no. Is that right? I mean, yeah. so much is that's like the that. Times now, isn't readers, it? Yeah. But that's so much is, of everything is like that now. It's yes. a polarised society that we live in and you have to agree with everybody on one side and you have to disagree with everybody else on the other side so without seeing it's almost an equal majority right, on the other side exactly yeah, yeah. yeah exactly right so um one of the things um i understand is that the king is now less rich than rishi sunak he is but by by a mere 40 million or Just something 40 million. like that so they can quibble over that no the prime minister's wealth is is um shored up by his wife's shares right. in her father's company it's a tech yes. company in india called infosys right so um, do you look at them as a couple or do you look at them separately we look at them as a couple we do divide it up right. um so i think he's worth about 200 million she's worth you know Two, you know, twice as much as he is. Imagine being worth 200 million and your wife is worth more. Yes. That's just, that, I mean, I can't even consider that. <laughs> I can't even fathom it. And you've got the usual sort of young youngsters coming through as well? Yes, we've got our 40 under 40 list, which yeah. is sort of a real showcase of British young talent. So from entrepreneurs, sports people, musicians. So in that list, it may be topped by the Duke of Westminster getting uh -huh. married next um, This is month. the new Duke of Westminster. I was just reading about him the yes. other day, Britain's most eligible bachelor, supposedly. No more. Not anymore. Because he's getting married at Chester Cathedral next right. month. Um, and moving to Cheshire. Yes. And even kind of London. So he's there. But in that list, we also have Herman Neruda. He's got the highest self-made fortune. He, it's Who all he? about the metaverse. So, oh, yeah. yep, he's created, a, written a book called Virtual Worlds. Okay. That's quite extraordinary. Um, and then again on that list, we've got Sir Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. He's also debuted in the main list for the first time. Okay. But he's the highest earning sportsman. Right. Um, then wow, so he makes even more money than the footballers. Yes. Big, um, well, I think the Ferrari deals probably helped yes. significantly. And so how much if, is, if the is leaks he are worth? True, if you can, three hundred and fifty million. If I'm right, he sneaks in. He's the last one in right. our list of three hundred and fifty. He, um, but he gets a huge amount from um, sponsorship yes. deals. Um, and also, he's quite a philanthropist as well, though. He also features on our giving list. Mm. We do like to look and see not just how many people and how much money they make, yes. but whether or not they do give. I bet they'd like to, to get on that list as well. Yes, they, they no. should do. Yes. Is, is Harry anywhere um, in, in, in list? Harry, no. Prince Harry of Montecito? No, neither is Prince Wales, though. No. 
so also Harry could make it in, but he yeah, just not not at the same level of wealth at no, all. Just hasn't got the money. That's what he keeps complaining about. Hasn't got enough money. That's why he just keeps selling his soul. Um, what about um, Paul McCartney? You've got some news on him. Yes, the news is he's suddenly become not suddenly. Sorry, the news is he is now a billionaire. Right. Um, probably helped by a great sort of year of touring mm. and Beyonce singing Blackbird on her yes. latest album. Obviously helped as well. So he's not the only rocker though. So um, so Mick Jagger and Keith Richards both re-enter this year. Right. Um, and they're touring as well, aren't they? They're touring. Astonishingly. It's, it's all come from that, just the yeah. amount of money you can make. And I think also, if you look at them, they, then Sir Elton John is also in the list. Probably hasn't risen as much, but I think his shows have a bit more razzmatazz mm. to them, whereas yeah. if you're just a man and a guitar right. at a certain age, I think the profit margin must be quite healthy. I suppose so. I mean, but, I mean, I, I was watching a clip of, of Mick Jagger uh, on stage in Houston or somewhere like that, and he looks remarkably fit and well for an 80-year-old man jumping around the stage, and, and Keith Richards yep. the same. Exceptional. Yeah. Unbelievable stuff. Um, and Ewan Blair makes an appearance. He does. He debuts for, um, as I say, for the first time. And he was making quite a lot of money from YouTube at one point. So what's he doing now? So he co-founded a company called Multiverse. Yes. So, um, the, the it's way a recruitment thing, isn't it? It's recruitment to do with apprenticeships. Right. So he works and puts apprentices in you know, huge global corporations. Mm. So he does work with Google, Microsoft, Netaporte. Um, it was mainly young people to start with. He's now right. moved to the over 55s and he's moving into America. Right. And that's seen his wealth soar. Right. So he's doing very well for himself. Very well. Indeed. So I expect his dad would like a nice present. I'm sure he would. I mean, his dad does okay as well, I think. I mean, he, I mean he's, he's. It's a new thing, isn't it? That, that, that the sort of people like prime ministers and not so much sort of common or garden politicians, they suddenly start making an awful lot of money now where it didn't used to be the case. You know, you'd have people like sort of Ted Heath who would go off and go into retirement and Play do whatever piano and Play the piano and do yeah. a bit of, you know, sailing around cows. But now they're sort of, you know, striding the globe. I mean, people tell me Tony Blair's never away from Saudi Arabia and he's in, in and out of the UAE all the time, you know, advising all these big banking organisations and all sorts of things going on. And the foundation that he's got is worth probably an awful lot of money. He's not on the list, I presume, is he? No, he's not on the list. Not as far as we can tell, because we can only do public um, records. Right. So he's not yet. We estimate he's probably worth at least 100 million. Yes. Um, but that's not enough to make the list anymore. Amazing. So the richest person in Britain on your list today is whom? Gopi Hinduja and family. Okay. And right. that's a record 37 billion. Wow. Wow. I mean, do you have any record of how much tax these people pay? We do a separate tax list. Now, right. we're not saying whether they're on, if they're not on, if they're on the rich list, but not on the tax list, we are not saying that they're doing anything wrong whatsoever. Right. But we do, every year, do a tax list in January. Right. Um, and you'll find a good number of them are on that. And paying quite a lot of money in tax as well, because yeah. it's a bit of a myth that some of them don't pay any tax at all. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. Well, Helen, it's out on Sunday? It's all live on the website right now. Is but it? The magazine is out on Sunday. Brilliant stuff. If you want to hold it up, I mean, if you want to hold it in your hot little hands, there it is. <laughs> I've actually got one. The old they, fashioned, good yeah. old fashioned magazine. They sell on eBay for triple the price by Monday. Do they? Yeah, no, honestly. Wow. Brilliant <laughs> stuff. Well, Helen, good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank and you. You could go and have a long lie down now, can't you? Having done this and start next year not yet next possibly week. tomorrow yeah start no next, exactly it yeah, starts start, all over again it starts all over again brilliant stuff sunday times rich list always a good read uh, get it on sunday sunday times but also online uh, right now